So let's talk about this pro software called Listery. Um, if you go on this page, um, it'll tell you a bit about it here. But if you go straight into the pro version, this is $20. And it gives you a list. He, it, it goes over what it does. And then it gives you a side by side comparison from the free version and the pro. So you might read that. So what does it do? It makes your searching very fast. Um, you can um, run it through any folder or just from anywhere. So let's go ahead and test it out. I am going to, so what you would do is just go ahead and download. You can download the free version if you want and then you can upgrade. Um, this is the, the software, let me close this out. We're gonna open it up. Now the first thing you're gonna see is probably the tutorial. So let's go ahead and run the tutorial so you can see, it can give you a, a quick um, run through of it. So here it says you wanna press the control button twice and it brings up this little search bar. You can drag it around wherever you like and this acts as a search for your whole computer. So, or whatever you set it to index. So for example, let's just open a folder. Um, usually, you know, you would use this here, up here when you're searching for something. And, um, and then, you know, you sometimes it can take a long time while it's loading and trying to um, find stuff. But with this, um, if you double tap, you can start typing, let's say, we want to look for blender files um, and that would be dot blend um, these are all my 3d models and stuff that um, that are saved on my computer c drive as well as my d drive um, and it just gives me everything you can find and you saw how fast that was from here you can right click and you can open it or you can run several commands now you can add Oops. You can add other things in these menus, and I'll show you how to do that. But if you hit open containing folder, it's going to take you straight there. Um, and then if you want to search within the folder, you just click off of there. You just inside the window and you want to start typing. OK, let's say we were we were searching for this helmet thing. So we would just start typing helmets and it comes up and it highlights so whenever you move your mouse you're gonna see it highlights over here um, if it is in this folder so only these two are these are gonna be other folders and then you can move to those if you want to um, or open them up if you click them okay let's close that out okay so the next thing it's asking us let's minimize this is it wants us to type something control control type achieve so it wants us to click on this and here's a folder right now it's saying we click next and it now wants us to import it so when we click import it's gonna say that because this folder is let's let's move this this folder is this location here app data roaming it's just it's saying it's uh, hidden um, this little window down here pops up and it shows you your uh, folder that you had open last so it's gonna be that so you just do the quick switch and it should open to full I already had it open but you, it should switch to here so so say I was like in music and then I click quick switch, it'll switch over to that last folder I was in. So then we just want to open it up. Success. Click next. We're done. Okay. So now let's show you how else you can use this. Um, so if we go back into the settings, you know, we, we right clicked on the list tree, you went to options. It opens up. Um, first off, appearances is coming soon. Uh, it's supposed to have uh, themes, and then you can install themes. 
um, here you just have your general settings um, features is where you're going to be spending most of the time if you're going to change anything so all the commands it has all these commands in it so if you double tap and let's just say we're going to do um, PowerShell so we would type in that PSH and there it is so it's just like a, a keyword and it shows you the software and then if you run it it'll open it up you know the same for all of these you know it has shut down reboot uninstall so um, those are cool um, now we go into the file search here are um, keywords that you can assign and it will search just those things so for example like how um, we have like pictures you see down here it has all the uh, extensions video as well you can always add on to it or delete some audio so in my case how I was doing it I was looking for blender files so let's go ahead and create one we're gonna call it blender and then um, we are extensions we're gonna put dot blend because that's the extensions of blend files um, but I also like the obj obj file so i'm going to put let me see i don't remember if there's a comma okay it's a semicolon okay so let's fix that so we're going to put uh dot obj and dot fbx okay so those are the extensions that i use um so then we want to hit apply and now whenever you want to search for this you're going to type in your keyword followed by a colon so don't put it in there i'm just showing you so here we're going to start typing blender and then you put that colon in and it's going to give you everything with those extensions so we've got dot blend files you know so for the images it would be the same um and how i, I did it in this folder that's where that's where it search you can you can do a, you can set a different search path if you want um, let's let's move on to okay priorities I didn't don't I didn't mess with this but I guess you can set the normal low you know on where it's searching um, index this is where you're going to index your drives so I added the G drive and the D drive um, Um, you would just uh, click here now on the website the free version versus the pro version um, the pro version says that this one lets you do the net any network drive and um, also the pro version is for business use up to three licenses uh, that's what it said on the website when I last saw uh, you can go back and, and read it uh, this is if you ever have a bunch of files that you've just put in there and you need to rebuild the index um, But I think it usually updates it by itself. I believe it does I, Oh here every 24. Okay, so you set how often you want I guess these are all on all the time So I guess I just set up the G one, but you can set up here um, How often you want it to update? So I guess I haven't done this one. Let's go ahead and update it. Okay. And then you can remove them also from here. So, oh, I don't have my G plugged in. Okay. Okay, hotkeys. This is where you have your general hotkeys. Um, I don't believe I use any of these, but you can test them out and see. I believe this controls when you have this open. Hold on, double tap. So if we search for, um, oh, okay, see, Control-P is moving it up, and Alt-P, nope, oh, Alt-P gives you the information, so Control-N moves it down, yeah, okay, so this is if you want to control it with your keyboard, Control-P is up, Control-N is down, and then Control, what was it, Alt-P, I mean, Alt-P hides the information window and control o should open up um let's see yeah it's not doing anything but control o is supposed to 
on a file. Let's see. Okay, so you have to do it within the folder when you're searching. Control O opens up this action folder. I wonder if that's the same for Control G. No, that one I'm not sure about the quick switch. Okay, so that's that. Web search here, um, it comes pre installed with all this. Um, you can disable them or leave them on. And um, Google, and I just did this because I was testing it. So um, I've been using a. Uh, uh, search engine called u.com and I um, I wanted to test it out so I just switched to Google and I put a keyword so I put you and then here's where you would put your title so I guess I'll put you and then here's where you would put this is the search and what you can do if, if you create a new one you can it has the same options you can change um, and then um, you can leave this here because I, I tried custom and it didn't work so I just left it as Google but if you hit apply and now when you double double tap to control you type in you because that's our keyword and press space Oh, I have the caps lock on. There you go. Then you see your thing here. Now it's going to search the website. So this would be the same as me opening Firefox or any browser and then going to u.com and then searching there. Uh, the same thing if you had Google. Um, you could put G or something and then um, I think I pressed, what did I press? Space. So U, space, and then it switches over to that. So then I can search for like, um, let's go search the internet for Listry. And so it's gonna open up. Let me move it over. Okay, and you see it pulled it up. So if you were using Google or Yahoo or Bing or whatever you use, um, it would just pull up in your search engine. Um, so that's that. Um, menus. These are going to be your favorites. So whenever you're in a folder, say that you you often go here, you can just middle mouse click, and that's how you bring up the menu. Also on this, if you middle mouse click, you'll bring up the menu. So say you like this folder, you middle mouse click, you click this little star, and it'll add it. And then you can just name it. There's a path, you hit OK. So now, if you middle mouse click, uh, it's going to be your folder is going to be here, and your your files. Um, this menu also has quick access, you know, PC. Uh, these are the other ones, the favorites that are added on there. Cancel. Um, it's got your history, open folders. You can run commands. And so when we're in here in the menu, uh, you won't see it right now because I'll, I'll close it out because it has to refresh. But you saw that I added my achievements. So now if we open it up, go into menu there it is so this is the only way you can remove it from this menu so if you decide you don't want it anymore you can't right click or middle click or anything or click that to un, un or take it off you have to go through here click it and then hit the minus uh, same time you can add your folder sub menus all this you can add it on here and put it on there so like we want to add a command let's say custom let's say um, reboot computer hit apply so now when we click off you should have a reboot so you can reboot your computer but I'm gonna take it off because I don't want to accidentally click it <laughs> so apply okay all right actions actions uh, copy paste um, I haven't messed with this yet but it looks like you can um, they would be, I think, through your search. So if we were looking up trophy, um, and you would right-click on them, that's what these are. Edit with VS Code, yeah. Copy to clipboard, yes. Uh, notepad isn't there, I don't think. 
because well that's the thing I don't have notepad plus plus installed on my computer so of course nothing's gonna show there so we're gonna remove this um, but you can add um, uh, let's go ahead and add a custom action and we're gonna look at this so we can kinda see what we need to change so I'm gonna do file explorer and I'm gonna say open with Photoshop so now let's go look for Photoshop and Photoshop the dot exe there it is okay so we're going to right click it we're gonna copy path and then we're gonna paste it in here okay what else do we need action path I guess that's what we need to put in here looks like that's it you can add a hotkey if you want to apply let's test it out okay so now that we have that set up let me open up uh, downloads I made these with AI but let's I'm opening up Photoshop you don't have to but that way we can we don't have to wait for it to load uh, now you should be able to right click on a photo I'm sorry never mind the middle mouse click doesn't work on this so what we would do is let's name this uh, AI cat so now let's uh, let's search for it AI cat there it is from here you right click and then you do open with Photoshop and there you go it should bring it in okay so there's that so you can do that with lots of stuff um, well, I'm gonna keep this one because I do use Photoshop a lot actually I use a uh, substance I'm gonna switch that to okay um, then integration these are all the um, plugins that they've created and installed so it should work with all these I think I have WinRAR so my WinRAR should now work with that this is a new feature that came out like three days ago so yeah that's gonna be it for for this video um, appearance is not here yet like I said um, pro that's where you would enter your um, code and then it'll say your name on there um, that's it that's the version it is so let me know if uh, you guys like it um, I know I love it and I'll see you guys in the next video